now we are live. Ah, we are live. <laughs> Good afternoon. Happy Friday. How are you all today? Do say hello if you're watching. I am. I forgot my tea. I'm sitting here without my tea today. That feels very strange. Yeah, I forgot a drink as well. Hold on, let me refresh my page. What a lovely day. So nice to see the sun. It's going to be a bit too hot today. I am, are, yeah, I'm overheating. I'm right overheating. Now. We are very happy with our new air conditioning in the same room. Hold on. It's showing up yet. Oh, there we go. Here I am. There we are. <laughs> Here we are. You are there. I am there, yes. I can see You're that. You're definitely see there. You. We can all see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's feeling very empty in here at the moment because... Uh, you may know that we're doing Thread Festival this weekend at Farnham Malting, so everything has been taken up to Farnham. Amy's been rushed up there and just rushed back, literally just got back about 10 minutes ago, didn't you? Yeah, I'm very oh, hot. It's quite hot. <laughs> we, should have done, we should have done the line in the other room with the air con on. We? I know, we, we actually thought that. that we might be late and I was going to have to do it from the car on yeah. Instagram <laughs> while Mum was doing Facebook yeah. on her own. Oh, but Hi, it. Janet. Hi, Janet. How are you? Good afternoon. Nice to see you. Yeah, oh look, there's a chair just stuck in randomly in the back of the shop. I know. <laughs> yeah, so we just sort of run in and set up and uh, we're here. So what have you all been up to this week? I think everyone's outside in the garden. Don't blame them, it's yeah. lovely out there. Yes. Oh, hi Angela, I did get your email, I will reply. Sorry, we've had a bit of a busy day today, but I will, um, I will reply. That'll be fine though, don't worry. That'll be fine. Hi Angela. I'll sort it out for you. How are you? nice to hear from also the other thing Angela was that Sally has moved the bra, her, her booking on the bra making workshop to next year and I know you normally come together so if you wanted to move yours just let me know and I will move you that's bra making in August if you want to move it so just let me know so we've had a crazy busy couple of weeks doesn't seem like two weeks actually does it since we were last here I know. two weeks ago since we were last here I had lots of work I just have a few days off which was nice um, but then we had the, uh, the vintage sewing weekend last weekend. Lots of lovely ladies making vintage dresses, vintage style dresses, I should say, using Till the Sun Goes Down patterns. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. How are you? Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. So, lovely, a couple of lovely Hepburn shirt waisters, a lot of tea dresses, and a very pretty ruffle dress as well, made by uh, Barbara. I just say yes, please move me with Sally. I will do. <laughs> but yeah, she was going to have she's going to have a chat with you, so I will do that for you and let you know the date when I reply to your trouser email, Angela. We'll get it all sorted. So yeah, lovely vintage dresses being made, and then all our afternoon and evening classes started up again here. Hi, Jilly. Happy Friday. Hi, Jill. Hi, Jill. Hi, Jilly. How are you all? You're coming out of the sunshine to say hello. That's so nice, isn't it? I know. It's very nice. Or you could sit in the sunshine and watch us. You could, yes. Love to a bit of shade. Take your phones or your iPads yes. or your laptops with you. True. Very true. So, lovely to see so many people back on evening, in, uh, evening classes and afternoon school this week. We had two complete beginners on Monday, which was lovely. Hi, Ruth. Oh, hi, Justine. Hi, Ruth. Hi, oh, Justine. Come and see us. At, yes, come and say hello. Amy's been up there this afternoon. Um, starting the setup, you only have a couple of hours on a Friday and a couple of hours very early on Saturday morning yeah. to set up. So um, it looks exciting up there, doesn't it? Though? It does. Yeah, it's looking lovely. Mm. Looks lots of lovely, interesting things turning up. I saw mm. lots of nice fabrics going through the door. Oh, Jan's coming to Farnham Hi, tomorrow. Jan. There's going to be lots of Midhurst sewers at Farnham Mortings tomorrow. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Uh, Janet, I am wearing the Southport dress today. This is the Southport dress that we made on a sew along. I might um, have to do a stand up. And you might do lie down. Do you want to move your yeah, chair? My up? chair's a bit low. Oh my god. You know what happens on these with this oh, long oh, matted dress? I'm going to roll over my dress. There we go. So, this is a Southport dress, which we made on a sew along. Great dress. Best sort of best style. Um, buttons at the front, drawstring waist, split at the front. It's a really lovely dress. This is a lovely uh, ten, um, viscose twill from Bloomsbury Square, and it's got pockets. So, this was a, a, a really great sew along um, that we did. But, and it's, Lots of people have commented on how, how much they like the dress, so we're going to be doing it as a workshop here in the sewing room. So if you want to come and make this dress, is that better? Yes. <laughs> I can actually see you now. Ah, I'm here. I'm not hidden behind the table. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold on. Sorry. 
There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to do this here uh, on the, uh, I did write it down, 11th of August. So if you'd like to make the Southport dress, there's this one. Here with me in the sewing room. It's got fire spining around the neck and everything. It's nice. It's a really nice make. You I've, well. I've worn mine so much. Mm. Yeah, I love it. Thank you, Janet. Yeah, it's, um, oh, so is that plug not on? I don't know. Is your phone not charged? Uh-oh. Instagram could have a little jump in a minute. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we I go. think I haven't plugged it in well. <laughs> so your Southport dress is a great dress. And you can make it full length like I've done with the split at the front, or you can make it short for a beach dress. So it's very versatile. Hi, Claire. Hi, Claire. Oh, yes, Claire's coming to make... Are you making trousers? With this? Trousers? Yes, I think you're doing trousers with me, aren't you, next week? That would be great. It's so lovely having people coming back at the sewing. As I say, afternoon and evening class is brilliant this week. We had a catch-up one on Wednesday as well. So lots of people came on Wednesday. Um, and then we had sew-alongs on Thursday. We did the last day of the couture jacket. So I've actually put mine behind me here because we've got no more garments. All the garments are at thread. So <laughs> you're seeing half-made sew-along garments behind me today. So this is the my nearly finished couture jacket. Look at the lining. Really lovely uh, crepe de chine lining. And on this side was the evening class that we're doing at the moment, which is the Trina, um, Trina dress, which is by Victory Patterns. You can do it as a dress or a top. So it's got these lovely big no-no style sleeves here. Very um, wafty, I think was the wafty, word. Very wafty, so I was making a little, making a little uh, camisole to wear underneath. It's beautiful fabric from Bloomsbury Square. Um, uh, that's going to have a peplum and a sash. So it's going to have, this, but you could make it as a full length dress as well if you wanted to. So that's what we've been doing this week. And then today, I had a workshop here today, tradition, introduction to, to traditional tailoring. Was <laughs> that a tongue twister? Yeah. Um, thank Julie you, loves the fabrics. Lovely fabrics, aren't they? Wait until the couture jacket's finished. There's a trim to match the lining. Oh, it's here. Oh, yeah. It's this here. lovely velvet trim. This is a velvet ribbon through a lovely uh, gimp braid, which is one of the new trims from Bloomsbury Square Fabrics. And it was just the perfect colour for my lining. So I thought I had to get that. That's so gorgeous. I still have to sew that on. I also think that colour would go with my unfinished one. Not unfinished. Oh, it would actually. Yeah. yeah. So your There's one a was lime just a green. It also comes in lime green, which would also go. Yes. Yeah, it's only a waistcoat still. I haven't got <laughs> my shirt jacket. And finish <laughs> it. Madeline's going to put me to shame at the open day because she's going to finish hers. Finally. Oh, she's just messaged me actually before the gunners messaged her back saying about the couture jacket. Oh, she's, she's doing it. She's getting on. Oh no! She's on. She's we had a again. deal. We were on that <laughs> class together two years two ago. Two years ago. <laughs> so I have sleeveless shirt jackets. I've got one sleeve in. <laughs> All the ladies from this year's sew along will be ahead of you. There. There's some people joining on Instagram. We've got Helen Peachy's here. Oh, hi, Alice Helen. Is, Alice is here. Hi Al. Uh, made by Silly. Oh, that's oh. Sil um, Sylvia. Yes. From Germany. From Germany. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us today. So yes, that's we've got. That's what we've done this week. Next week we've got coming up. We're making a kimono. We've got summer trousers. Um, then I think at the end of the month we've got a lovely white linen shirt. Oh, I spelt shirt very strangely on my notes there. <laughs> Sorry, um, good job you can't see that. Um, yes, the white linen shirt. Well, there's still a couple of places left on that, and the kimono. If you fancy joining me for a workshop here in the sewing room. In fact, the white linen shirt workshop includes the fabric and the pattern and everything. So you just come along and make a nice white linen shirt. Alice says hi, yeah. Hi, Al. And Silly's waved. <laughs> oh, it's so nice waving everybody. It's lovely. It's been lovely this week. It's been really nice. So we've re really enjoyed all the sew-alongs and the uh, and our lives keeping up with you all. But it has been nice having people in the sewing room today. Mm -hmm. Doing the traditional tailoring was lovely. Three lovely ladies, Jane, who actually met, she actually uh, found me through doing sew-along. So she came along today, and Karen and Mary. So we did. Uh, that's one of my tailoring books are out on the table. I was showing them this lovely book by Thomas Van Lordheim, which is one of my favourite for traditional tailoring, as well as the new Claire Shaper book. And we made a sample of half a front. It took a whole day just to do that. It's a bit like our couture jackets. It takes a long time, but it's well worth it. So this weekend we're going to be at Thread Festival. So do come and say hello if you're uh, at the festival. It's in Farnham. If you haven't got your tickets yet, you can still book your timed entry tickets. Um, and come along and there's a one-way system going around. They've done a really good job of keeping everyone safe uh, So you can just walk around. You can go around more than once, but you have to go in at a certain time Very well organized. There's some great stall holders there. Fabrics Galore, the Meg's Atelier, Till the Sun Goes Down Drake's uh, Daughter. Daughter and lots of other ones from further afield. So 
Yes, do come along this weekend. Oh, that's right, Jilly, delayed Overlocker. It's, it's, it's part two, Jilly. I knew there was something else next week. Overlocker part two next week, which is where we do, um, we have a little recap on using your Overlocker, then we do some decorative stitching, uh, using different threads, using wire, uh, fishing line, all those things, all those essential things you need to do with an Overlocker. <laughs> and then we make a little bag with a zip in it, so I'll show you how to do that as well. So that's a really good one. Playing with Overlockers on Thursday next week. The days are flying by. The end of June before we know it. Don't say that. <laughs> Amy's on holiday from Tuesday anyway. I'm I am so. on holiday. Yeah. yeah, Amy's going away for a few days. In this country. Yes. Can't be quarantined. Yeah. Can't be given a lawyer. Actually, Carmen, who was here today, told me about another fabric shop in Carlisle. <gasps> Don't tell me that. That's where I'm going. Yeah. I'm going to have to go to Linton, everybody, because I have to go to Carlisle on my trip next week. Of course you do. <laughs> well, yeah. Go check it out. I have to just double check. There's nothing that I need. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about need. That's true. <laughs> hi, Catherine. Uh, hi, Catherine. We'll see you at Farnham tomorrow as well. You're going to see lots of lots of familiar faces at Farnham, I think, tomorrow. It seems that a lot of people have booked for the 10 o'clock going in. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be very busy around that time. If I can uh, say that they have very good coffee. I oh, have, that's good. I had a very nice flat white there this morning, this afternoon. Oh, and they have oat milk. That's fantastic. Yeah. What was so nice, actually, as a stall holder who does uh, quite a few shows, the maltings have organised it so you can order your lunch and they bring it to your stand. And I thought that's such a good Very idea. excited. It did look yeah. very good. I saw some good food coming out of that yeah, little Yeah, let's make sure today. we do that tomorrow. Um, and uh, so, so we get, yeah, was eating, they will hopefully have time to eat it. <laughs> So come along to Farnham this weekend and say hello. It's going to be warm, but you know. Hopefully we don't have time to eat it because we're so busy. So busy. Yeah, we're so busy. It'd be nice for me being on the stand with Amy, actually, because normally I'm at the shows I'm teaching. Um, and I just have time to pop over and say hello. But uh, I'm going to be there the whole time, which will be great. Oh, Catherine's coming at 10. Yeah, that's what's been so good to get the sewing room, uh, Catherine. Like we say, it'll be uh, see people that you've only met virtually, you're going to meet face to face. <laughs> at Farnham tomorrow. Oh, Janet's going to be there tomorrow. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Everyone's going to be there tomorrow. We need to spend the whole day chatting. We need to get everybody on the stand for a group photo. Yeah, we should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woman with her sewers. It'd be fantastic. So I have been keeping an eye on the Silly would love to come. Oh, yes. If you were here. <laughs> Angela's um, coming too. Oh, oh at two. Angela's coming at two. At two. So you'll be. Oh, lovely. Brilliant. And Jilly. <laughs> Very exciting. Excellent. I did see a sort of half plan of meeting in the coffee shop at 11 for people. That could be quite a busy time. Couldn't yeah, it? Meeting, <laughs> meeting place for Midhurst Sewers at 11. So I've been keeping an eye on the Midhurst Sewers Facebook page as well this week and uh, lovely pictures of some finished garments. Cynthia made a beautiful headburn shirt waist out in a uh, Liberty fabric and so did uh, Sally. Made, Sally actually made hers uh, at the vintage sewing weekend last week and it was for her mum so she posted a lovely picture of her mum wearing her Hepburn shirt waster and I think Cynthia actually had her belt made like me like I did I'm going to wear my dress tomorrow so you'll see me wearing my Hepburn shirt waster I think you're going to be hot might be yeah I might well I might take a change of clothes there's enough on the rail we can yeah, get changed yeah we can just, just get changed halfway yeah. through it's like our own personal wardrobe Oh, there we go. Look, Janet's just saying to Kathy, she's arriving at the same time, and Suzanne. And Suzanne is coming with Philippa as well. And They're Barbara's coming. coming at that time. Barbara and Jean. And Madeline. And Madeline are all coming at that time as well. So lots of people. How exciting. What else is on um, uh, Place Place? Wendy made a fantastic uh, apron for gardening using the assembly line apron pattern. It's a lovely pattern with a bit of skirt that goes around and it's got poppers on the back which overlap. Um, so it, to make it fit, great pattern. And Jean has finished her tunic from the Tunic Bible as well. So that looked lovely. Yeah, really good. Actually, Jean was here on Monday night um, on the evening class. So it was nice to see Jean here. Yeah, well done for finishing Jean. Really good. So <laughs> you bring something else to finish next week then. <laughs> Susan's booked for nine, nine o'clock. Oh, that's good. So you'll start. be already there. You'll have been round twice by the time everyone else comes in. <laughs> <laughs> All the bargains. I want to go around. They look some really oh, nice yeah. fabrics. I saw. Oh, yeah. It's difficult when they're all loading, unloading, so you don't know who they all are. But the good thing with both of us being on the stand, we'll have a chance, won't we? Yeah. 
There is some fabric in our room, actually. Just oh, is there? Oh, Ruth, uh, so you can't be there. Uh, so she's going to be here next Friday, Saturday. You're here, yeah, so we'll see you here. That's going to be great. Yeah, the, the, the um, Thread Festival happens every year. Obviously, we've been deprived for a couple of uh, seasons, but um, it's a really good show. If you're in the area, or you know, even worth travelling down for. It used to be a one-day show, now I do it for two days. It's much more worth coming down for a visit. In fact, um, Mary, who was here today, might come tomorrow. She didn't oh, know about it. She might come from Horsham. And uh, Jane, who has come down from North London and is staying with friends locally, she said, oh, we might pop in on the way back. <laughs> so, good thinking. Okay. And Karen's going to be there anyway, so that's good. Good. Nice to tell Everybody. You. So what else have I got to tell you? What, have you else, what else have you been up to this week? Have you been making? Or just enjoying the sunshine? It's been such a great week, hasn't it's it? It's been a lovely week. It's going to get hotter this weekend, though. Eek. So, but it'll be lovely. Maybe we should take our fan with us. Oh, I did think that. That's why I said to you, is there a plug? <laughs> there fan? is a plug. We just stick, we should take it. I think we should take this, yeah, the fan. And it. then if anybody needs to cool down, they can we'll come and stand fan. at our stand yeah. and we'll have a fan. I think we'll bring that. Yeah, it's I a good plan. So. Good plan. So I haven't noticed much news this week. Anyone seen any bargains this week? I did notice that Simplicity Patterns are not going to be half price this week. If you like a Simplicity Pattern. They've got some great things and they're half price at the moment. I have bought a new book. Let me show you my new book. Uh, this is Gina Renee Dunham, who has done a new fitting book. And if any of you follow her on um, YouTube, she does some really good fitting tips. Uh, it's, I haven't had, it's only came the other day, I haven't had a chance to have a good look through, but I thought it sounded very good. Lots of nice clear drawings. It reminds me of um, the books um, that are called um, oh, what are they called? They're right behind me. Uh, how to Start Sewing and How Patterns Work, which are by Assemble. Not by Assemble, is it? No. Uh, the, the drawings are very clear. Um, so lots of good tips on fitting. And while I was, while I was buying this one, uh, this book popped up. I love my Vogue sewing book, and this is a really old Vogue fitting book. So I had to buy it because it's even got... I said, was it a library book? No, I don't think it, no, it wasn't. It just had a special privilege for ordering. Um, oh, um, old school yeah. patterns. Ordering patterns in it, tucked in there. I bet that smells good, that book. It does. It smells, <laughs> like, it smells like a lovely old book. And all the drawings and the pictures, because I've got a very old version of Vogue sewing. Uh, got this one, one has got all the, the, the very dated photographs, so just like my oh, old cool. Vogue sewing. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, Ruth has been mainly listening and watching Builders. <laughs> so, oh, no sewing. No sewing, oh dear. Janet has been binging on old sewing bees. Oh, yes, that's because Janet said, because now the sewing bee, all the, all the series of the sewing bees are on uh, the iPlayer, so you can watch right back from series one on the iPlayer. And Janet was saying last weekend on the sewing school that she'd started right from the beginning. Oh. But she'd never seen them. The walkaway dress. Walkaway dress. Yeah. I missed a couple of seasons, so I might do that. Yeah, the first season, the walkaway dress was became a real craze when the sewing bee was out that time. It's but you're supposed to be able to make it, make it during the day and wear it out in the evening. Not quite. If you want to make it nicely, not quite. But yeah, we did kind of that. You know, my red dress with the tulip on it. That's mm. a walkaway dress. <clears throat> oh, you found a pattern for a walkaway dress. Oh, fantastic, Janet. The thing with the walkaway dresses, a lot of them had binding all around the edges, so if you do that nicely, it does take time, but it's a great pattern. It goes over the head, and the skirt wraps around the front, and the front wraps around the back, so it does a sort of two-way tie, so it's really good. So that's my new books this week. Um, we've got some new workshops. I've put some new workshops on the website. There is the Silo dress, which you may have seen a picture of Amy on Instagram, wearing that lovely chambray denim dress. That's available as a dress or a top. I'll be um, wearing my other version of it tomorrow. <laughs> Janet doesn't reckon she can make a dress in a day. <laughs> you don't have to make it in a day. It's a good dress though, Janet, you'll like it. It's a good dress. So yes, yeah, silo dress, uh, it's a closet core pattern which you can make a top or a dress because we've talked a little bit about the fact that we're short of tops. Um, I did have did you say yeah. a pattern. No, it's, is it, it was there. Oh, it was there. Anyway, it's a closet core pattern. Is it behind those Dior, Dior skirts? No, that's oh. where it was. Somebody did buy it this week. Oh, we only had one. I'll tell you where it is. It's in that hand text box that we need to open. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to open that line. Yeah, so the sealer dress up top is a day workshop. Can I make a dress or a top? 
uh, on the 24th of July and then the Southport dress which is the one I'm wearing is on the 11th of August. A couple of new sew alongs as well, the Aura dress, I don't know if I talked about this before, which is the paper cut patterns um, dress which has got, uh, so it's a wrap dress, um, cross over at the front, V neck, V back, nice puff sleeves um, which is starting on the 28th of July. This one, you could, if you didn't like the dress, just make the skirt. It's got a very nice version just for the skirt, actually. Um, so a nice wrap round tie skirt. So that's the Aura dress or skirt. Uh, and then the other thing I've got to do, oh, the Sadie top. That's also gonna be a sew along. The Sadie top by Style Art, which is this one here, which is a lovely top with a really interesting sleeve. Um, it's a one piece sleeve but the seam sort of comes around and, and uh, does a little origami thing at the bottom. So that's going to be a sew along on the 28th of, when did I say? 28th of July, same day, so one's in the day, one's in the evening. Any chance of repeating the summer trouser workshop? It disappeared from my screen for a while, then when it came back it was it's really booked. booked. Yeah, someone booked the first, when someone books the last place it disappears and I have to put it back, so yeah. Um, I don't know if we'll get a chance to repeat it this year, Jan, because <laughs> there are so many, well, I've had to move so many workshops. But you could always make it, make one a sewing school, if you like. I can get you the pattern and we could do it on a sewing school if you want to come along or an evening class, we could do that. But otherwise, I don't think I'll have a chance to make that, do that one again until next year. But no, no days, no empty days. Rabbit quilters here on Insta. That's Heather. That's isn't Heather. It? Hi Heather. Hi Heather. Are you coming to um, Are you coming to Thread Festival, Heather, at Farnham? Um, so there's a few things. The other thing I was going to see if anyone would be interested. So we've been doing the um, the cheer jacket as a sew along. We've done it over seven weeks. Um, sometimes done every other week, just so people have time to do homework. And I was thinking of making it an annual. Um, making it an annual thing, so we could make, do have a sew along couture jacket every year. Uh, I'm thinking probably February, March to start it, and then it would be something that would go over eight weeks, uh, and we'd make a couture jacket together. So if you would be interested in that, do let me know. Uh, and the ladies who've done it this time said they'd, be, they'd love to do it again, because it's the sort of thing that, um, it's a big project. So having someone to say, you need to do this by next week, or do this by two weeks time, they said it's a, said it has been quite useful. So if you think you'd like to, to do a, Couture jacket sew along with me, so make one along with me uh, on the on Zoom. Let me know, and I will put some dates up. Oh, thank you, Ruth. That'll be great. It will probably be a daytime one because you do need to do um, doing couture in the evenings is quite tricky. So it'd be a, during the day, uh, but it'd be one day a week, or and then sometimes we do a fortnightly gap to give you a chance to do buttonholes and things like that. So no pressure then to try and get all your buttonholes done in a week. Oh, Jan, are we still stuck on pants? I thought we'd, I thought we'd solved that problem. Oh, bring them back in for a workshop and we'll sort it out. Mm. We've got so, such, a, such a good fit and then uh, we'll get it sorted for you, Jan. Come in on a workshop and we'll sort those out for you. So yeah, let me know if you would like to do um, a couture jacket sew along, probably starting in February, um, um, the eight classes, and we'll make a jacket together. There is a, a group on Instagram called the January Jacket, it's a hashtag on Instagram called January Jacket, and lots of people spend all year collecting all their fabrics and their trims, buttons, linings, all get ready to start on the January Jacket. Well, January is a bit tight for me to start so long, but we might do the February Jacket <laughs> Yeah. to start in February. So let me know what you think about that. So what else do we need to talk about? Sewing bee. Sewing bee, that's the next thing on my, what, two weeks of sewing bees to talk about? Well quarterfinals and semi-finals what do you think so we had last week was the army week we did it was it was um little miracle dirty dance no it was uh, movies wasn't it last week oh it was movies movies last week yeah so they did oh um, yeah the first dress <laughs> what was that <laughs> might, what did they do is i couldn't i couldn't remember what they so did it was dirty the, dancing yeah and then they did what did they do as their um transformation transformation because the fight the last dress was the dream girls dress wasn't it yeah I can't remember what they did as the transformation last week. Does anyone remember? Oh, I left my notes at home. Yeah, and you're very good at makes notes and then leaves them at home. <laughs> <laughs> Damien finally went home. <laughs> I was so happy that he went. Did, did start to like him a bit more. No, it, no? I didn't. Oh, okay. 
Like, he made a great dress, but it wasn't really. Um, well, it wasn't green girls. Was that the one? Was it that? It was dress? the brown and orange one. It was more. It was like a, just like a sixties style yeah. dress. Didn't they use curtain fabric? I think so. Or something. But yeah, it was. Um, it wasn't dream girls. Yeah, I and say. absolutely loved Rebecca's dress and Raph's outfit with the feathers and painted yeah, the feathers. Yeah, so cool. What did you all think? Did you think the right person went last week? That Damien finally went. Oh, curtains to. Oh, oh was that's the sound of music one. How could you forget? Forget that. Goodness We've me. We've done that ourselves. Thank you, Jilly. Yes, I've done that with the with my lovely dream team for Goodwood. We had to recreate the sound of music dresses for a singing group for Goodwood. Should have remembered that, shouldn't we? Yeah. I think I posted a picture on my on the Facebook. My mind page. went blank. Yeah, but it's great. I thought they did a great job of that. Really good, really good. I don't know why it was. It was definitely lederhosen. Was seemed to be the way to go, didn't it? Yeah. We did make lederhosen for. I did recreate, but I, I got pictures of all the original dresses that were used in the film and recreated them exactly as they were. Uh, and I actually found them on an auction site where all the costumes were auctioned. Managed to get really good pictures of all the different dresses and recopied them. So, but yeah, that was great last week. But this week, Oxford bags. So making trousers in such a short time. Wow. I don't know how they did that. I don't know how they did that. With the fly zip as well. Yeah. Fantastic. I really don't know how they did it. I thought they did so well yeah. to make those. They did. And, and they all actually looked really good. They did, I, yeah. They did a very good yeah, job. Yeah, the turn ups and... Fantastic, the dots with bags. They were even over, I mean, uh, Serena's were overlocked on the inside. She had to unpick a bit, didn't she? Yeah. She was really upset. You could see she'd overlocked all her seams and everything. So they were actually finished properly mm. inside. I thought Esme was very sweet, reminding Rebecca that she hadn't put the fly guard in. That was sweet. Yeah. It was sitting there on the table, wasn't it? And they kept yeah. going over to it. So yeah. they did a fantastic job with that. I can't remember who won that challenge, but was it Raph? Raph. It might have been Raph. I think Raph won that one, and, and then Serena, Serena won the, the transformation. transformation. With the parachute, using the parachutes. Because she did the frill. That's why she had that lovely blue frilly dress. Yeah. Amazing. To, to have thought to do that. I did like Raph's though. Yes. His wedding dress was very cool. Was cool. And actually, I really liked Rebecca's, and I thought it was unfair that she came last because they didn't like the colour. Yeah, that seemed to be the only reason that they did. Yeah, like... they're like, well, it's a great dress, but we don't like the colour. Yeah. You gave her the parachute. <laughs> so what colour was she supposed to use? <laughs> it was a bit harsh. It wasn't... was a bit harsh. Yeah. The colours went, well to... went together well, I thought. Yeah, I thought so as well. I thought so. I thought did... And I love the way they all used the, um, the cording to do the lacing up the back. It's sad that they didn't feature the contrast pockets, which were a requirement. Oh yeah, on the bag, tra on the trousers. Yes, they said that, yeah, didn't they? Yeah, they didn't show any of them, did they? Yeah, they said you need to have a contrast lining for the pockets and then didn't show them. No. Some of them used quite cool fabric when they were choosing, didn't they? Yeah. So yeah, that was really Maybe good. they did and they had to cut it out. Yeah. Editing. Editing, yes. And then it was the 1950s, 1940s inspired by Dior. New look. Pattern, um, made, made to measure, sorry. Um, outfit, what did you think of that? Very interesting, wasn't it? I think it was, I felt sorry for Rebecca because I think hers would have been so good if she just had the button in the right place. Yeah. But even it. going quickly, I mean, that was a mm. big mistake though. Yeah. I think the right person went this week, sadly, because I really like Barry, mm. but um, she just couldn't finish things in time. No. Okay. And that was a big risk to self-draft something. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, big yeah. risk. I didn't think the Rebecca's, because she'd used, like they did say, didn't they, because of the flower, it didn't look Dior enough. It was a nice 1940s tea dress, wasn't mm. it, with the flowers? Yeah. Um, but not necessarily as with what you expect from Dior. Yeah, no, Farrah's dress definitely wasn't a new look, was it? No, it wasn't. No. I really loved wraps. They didn't mention the detail on the bodice of Rebecca's dress. It looked oh, Elizabethan the and dress. It was stunning. Mm. Yeah. It was really good, True. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, she did all that sort of smocking type. Yeah, it was really cool. Stitching on the front, which looks She so made a real good. effort. Yeah, I thought that she didn't deserve to come last. Not at all. I mean, it's always difficult when they get down to the last few, isn't it? Because they're all really good. Yeah. So they're all good, but yeah, it was quite harsh. Yeah, but then, yeah, Serena's outfit was amazing. Mm. I think I personally preferred wraps. But that might be because yeah. I'm biased and I really like that. <laughs> I thought he did the, he really, I mean, Serena was good because her twist was having trousers, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, and his twist was having the, the difficult fabrics. But hers was very literal. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now that pass that jacket was a Vogue pattern, but I had a quick look and I can't find it. So maybe it was a discontinued. Vogue I thought pattern. it was like as in like the last year or so mm. though. I had a quick look through, um, and couldn't find it. So it must be a really old one. Then maybe I've got it somewhere. I like the trousers. Yeah, they're good. They were good, and she was she did well to refit those. Yeah. Um, so quickly. Yeah. No, it was very well made. Mm. Or what is it, Esme always says, impeccably sewn. Impeccably sewn, Serena. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I did like Raph's. I wouldn't have liked to work with that ripstop. I thought he did an amazing job. Yeah, he that. did. I just thought it was really cool. Mm. The way he put horsehair braid and the hem and everything. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Just in the scuba. So, I'm yeah. team Raph. Yes, I think I am as well. I just love his creativity. I hope mm. he does some more like textile print and design next week. Mm. They didn't really show what they're going to do next week, did they? They didn't. We we're in suspense. Yeah, we are. We are. So farry has gone. Did love Farry, but uh, it was yeah, time for the right her to person go. this week, wasn't it? Yeah. And she did go out happy. We didn't like it when she was upset, did we? At the no. So. Yeah. So, yeah, so that was great. We're looking forward to the final next week. I know, and I've got to watch it from a hotel room yeah, if I'm allowed, either, if yeah. I'm not out to dinner. I know, I'm on holiday for the final of Sewing Bee. I didn't uh -oh. plan that very well, did I'll I? I'll be texting you. You'll be yeah. you're having dinner. I'll be going, like, don't tell me. I won't be able to look at any social media till I've watched it. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, that's what, I'll, that's what we've mainly been watching this week. So we haven't really watched much else this week, I don't think. I've been teaching yeah. every evening, so not, have, really, yeah. not really much. I watched Time with Sean Bean. You oh, haven't yes, finished I haven't it yet. I haven't watched that yet. Don't tell me. I'm not going okay. to. I'm not going to tell you on here. No. no. It's a bit violent. <laughs> Very good, though. Yeah. If anyone hasn't seen it, Time on BBC with Sean Bean and Stephen Graham. Oh, I did watch The Pact. Sally was telling me about that last week. The ah, Pact, which yeah, was on that's on my to watch list. I'll tell you what I watched last night. Yesterday. Have you seen that oh, movie? Oh, I love that film. I haven't seen it yet. Is that yet? the one where the guy it goes back he and the Beatles up and and nobody existed? Yeah, so he recreates the Beatles. It was so good. Yeah. Time, yikes. It is a bit, isn't it? Yeah. It is a bit yikes, Jilly, yeah. Yeah. It is, is it good? good? It's so good, Janet. Mm. Very good. It's a bit scary of how you can imagine that it's very true to in how prison. it must be in prison. Yeah. yeah, but Sean Bean's excellent. Really mm. good. It's quite harrowing and very tense, but... Worth a watch. It's only three episodes. So. Yeah, because I didn't realise it was on iPlayer, so I watched the first one on Sunday. I thought, oh, I'll watch that next week. And then Amy came home and watched all three. I couldn't not. <laughs> I had to know what was going to happen. Also, it was so tense, I needed to get it over and done with. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, very, very good. Yeah. And we all love a bit of Sean Bean. Yes, of course. And then, yeah, the patch was good. Mm -hmm. Lots of good people in that as well. And that's all I've watched. Very realistic. Yeah, Jenny, mm. I think, yeah. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't know. I haven't been in prison, but I imagine. No, I imagine. It's definitely terrified <laughs> me from ever wanting to go to prison. It's more of a deterrent than anything else, isn't <laughs> Biggest it? Biggest deterrent ever, yeah. They should show it in schools. Yeah, they should. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, while we're chatting about telly, shall I do a little demo? I think we should. Let's do a little demo. I was just enjoying sat there, yeah, having yeah, a chat. Yeah, a little sit down. <laughs> yeah, having a sit down for the first time today. So, this week, as I mentioned, I was doing the uh, sew along for the Trina dress in this lovely um, white fabric, which is a little bit see through. So, I thought I should make a camisole to go underneath, and I found a great pattern for a, um, just a little vest top, a little vest top here, which is by Itch to Stitch. Mm -hmm. It's the Cartagena Cami, uh, it's a PDF pattern. But, you know, the, uh, these sort of things often you end up buying these, don't you? These little vest tops. I thought they were good to make. And then I was reading through and it said to use fold over elastic for the um, meeting the edges and for the straps. So we have got fold over elastic here. I often use fold over elastic for um, uh, neatening the, it's for, we're making knickers along the edge of uh, the cups on bras. It's a great way of neatening the edges. It's got a little um, line in the middle, which makes it easy to fold it exactly in half and it's stretchy. It comes in lots of colours. I've At the moment, I've only got white and purple in for some reason, but there'll be some more colours coming in very soon. Um, but uh, so I've got, I don't know why I've got white and purple. That's a very The purple was random. Yeah, I, think yeah, it just I did wonder where that came, came from. Came in randomly. Um, but yes, I've got some more colours coming in. So yeah, fold over elastic could be used for neatening the edge, the necklines on t-shirts, uh, to save you cutting bands. Um, 
uh, and sleeves. I do well. like that idea. Yeah, neckline on t-shirts. Mm. I think you know this, the the um, the lark tee, the boat neck that we didn't like the way they did it. Yeah, and I was going to make a facing, but actually the boat neck done with the fold over elastic would be very good. Yeah, we need to get lots of colours. Yeah, lots of colours of that coming in soon. So I had a, a bit of the white cotton jersey that I used to make my um, uh, camisole left over. So I've just cut a little neckline here so that I can show you. True to size is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True to size and double? Yeah. Yes. Rather than just a half? Just a half one, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me I've got, I found it's your pen. It's so funny. Oh, thank you. Um, anyway, so the, um, when you cut the elastic for any of these sort of um, uh, projects, generally the, the elastic needs to be 20% smaller than the, or oh, Janet's saying good idea for the lark tee. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? 20% smaller than the um, neckline. So you can work that out. This pattern very handily does tell you uh, the measurement. So I've cut a piece of elastic. Now this particular cami, the, when you're needing the neckline, it starts the straps as well. So what it does is it gives you an extra six inches at each end. Always good to have a little bit extra anyway when you are... Um... Oh yeah, Susan said, she's glad you said that. She tried to make the boat neck lark tea and it was awful. Yeah, awesome it's not good, fabric. is it? Yeah, yeah we've no, tried and tried and we just can't get it no. neat. So. They just get you to turn it over and stitch it and it just it never, never looks flat. So on this pattern, they give you, for this part of the um, neckline, they give you an extra six inches because that's going to go around the neck and then it's going to start the straps, which you do the same on the back and then stitch them on the shoulders there. So I'm just marking where the six inches are um, to, so I know where I need to start pinning my elastic. What you then need to do is divide this into quarters. And you can do that with your pen. I'll do it with pin because uh, I haven't got my iron with me here, so... Just mark a pin, so fold it in half and mark it with a pin and then fold that pin to where your beginning mark is. So you're basically quartering the elastic, ignoring the extra six inches. So often when I'm putting elastic on things, I just leave an extra inch um, either side just so that I've got a bit to hold on to. There we go. So that's the elastic, the quarter marks. And then wherever you're putting your elastic, you also need to mark the quarter marks as well. So fold the neckline in half. And then again, fold it into quarters. And you can mark it with your friction pen or you can use pins. So that's that one marked into quarters. And now the fold over elastic is shiny on one side and matte on the other. You can use whichever side you like. I quite like the satiny side but you could if you wanted to have the matte side. Um, it's really personal taste on that one. Once you've marked your quarters, you're going to put the elastic and the um, uh, garment wrong sides together. So I'm going to put the wrong side of the elastic against oh, there we go, the wrong side of the fabric. So this is the wrong side, going against the wrong side of the elastic. And I'm just going to pin the edge of the fabric is going to go to that centre line. So I'm going to put a pin in there. Then I'm going to match this pin to this pin. And again, the edge of the fabric is going... I probably should have used the purple elastic, shouldn't I? Oh, yeah, that would have been good. <laughs> so we'd have seen it. <laughs> Seeing as we've got it. So I've just marked there. And again, I'm going to match these pins. This is the purple oh, for anybody that wants to know. <laughs> There will be some more coming. I was going to try and get it all sorted out before today, actually, but with so much going on with Thread Festival and everything, I didn't quite. So I'm just matching the pins. The edge of the fabric is going against the centre line, the centre fold line of the elastic. And then there's the end there. So 
So that's all matched. So you can see I'd need to pull the fabric out to stretch to um, get it all to stitch. Now I have got on my sewing machine a walking foot um, and a stretch needle, um, which makes life a lot easier. And I'm going to select a zigzag stitch. And I'm going to do um, stitch width three and stitch length three as well, I think. That should be fine. What you want to do with your zigzag is when you're, um, so you can start stitching on your elastic, which means it gets it a bit easier. Start stitching on elastic, but you want the right, when your elastic's doing, the stitch is doing its zigzag, you want the right hand part of the zigzag to be on the edge of the fabric or on that fold line. So I'm going to start stitching on the elastic just so I can get it all anchored. Oh, find the measure. Maybe that's 3.5 actually. Make it a bit bigger. There we go. So then I'm just going to pull the elastic so the fabric goes flat onto the elastic and the edge of the fabric is at that centre fold line. So if you've got a walking foot on, if you run the edge of the fabric along the inside edge of your walking foot, that should be the right position. So coming up to the next pin, I need to take that pin out from underneath. This is what I did yesterday and I caught the pin, which is not good. <laughs> Breaking a needle. Breaking a needle. Take that pin out. So you're just pulling the fabric so it goes flat and making sure the edge of the fabric is at the centre line running along the inside edge of the. Always stop with your needle down when you go to take your pins out, making sure that pin underneath is taken out. Big bit because it just reinforces. And it only gets cross when I do four sides. <laughs> just makes you laugh. Does make you laugh. This is where I should have kept back one of those lovely precision stilettos that I had last week. Oh, last yeah. They're all the threads on the thread festival. And finish just back on the elastic. So there we go. That's the elastic attached there. So then all you need to do is fold the elastic over, as the name suggests, over the edge. If you're making this into a garment, this is where you would try it on, so you'd have your garment made up, try it on and, and um, adjust your shoulder straps. But I'm just going to stitch these together. Obviously I'm going to do the whole six inches, obviously. Of course you are. So the elastic just folds in half and that's going to create your straps. And you already would have done the armhole, wouldn't You've you? Done the, yeah, you do the armhole first. So you stitch the, for this particular garment, you stitch the side seams, neaten the armholes and then do the front and back. So it's a really quick little make actually. I'm going to make another one. I might need to make the one with a slightly lower front. So I'm just putting a few pins in because we are going to actually have to Slight, because you can see that's all gathered there. We are going to have to slightly stretch this as we're putting it on again. Just fold it over. You've got that nice line there, which makes it really easy to fold. On the garment and then up the strap on the other side. Take the fold over elastic with us for the farming tomorrow. <laughs> Just in case I don't want to make a little vest. 
There we go. So that's pinned. You could you could choose. I mean, you can play about with. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stay with the same stitch. But you could choose. Um, do you do a triple zigzag stitch here? You know the one that does three stitches up, three stitches down, if you wanted to. So this time you want to make sure that the zigzag is going to be against the edge on the left hand side this time so that it catches that edge. So I've got where the two finished edges are there against the inside edge on the left hand side this time. So on the strap part I'm just doing it flat, I'm not, I'm not stretching it there. But when I get to the garment, I'm going to have to just very gently pull it. Pull it flat, just to make sure it's smooth. You could use a stretch stitch or a lightning stitch if you wanted to, if you didn't want to use a zigzag. So do a couple of samples and decide what you want to do. So I'm just pulling it very slightly. You can see it's gathered there. I'm just pulling it very slightly just to make it flat. It's just adding a tension. You don't want to, like, it's not like putting a gather in a waistband. It's just creating tension. Catherine's saying, can you take the lingerie elastic for tomorrow, please? Oh, okay. Yeah, we can. Suzanne's saying, oh, Suzanne's here. Oh, hi, hi Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, everyone. House packed up and removal's on their way. I can relax now. Oh, well done. Oh, gosh, you've had a busy couple of weeks. I'll tell us all about it tomorrow. Yeah, anything else you want us to bring to thread tomorrow, let us know. Most of it's there, but... <laughs> I just realised I forgot to pack the seam tan and cream shells. Oh yes. Still there. Oh, we'll put that in a box for tomorrow. We will have interfacings as well. We'll be taking the rolls because we've got a table so we can actually cut interfacings. So if you need interfacing, we'll be available tomorrow as well. There we go. So that's a really nice little neckline, neatened. If you took that to the iron and gave that a press, that would completely um, smooth out. Uh, and be a really nice neckline on a vest top and like we said you could do that on a t-shirt you could do it on um, uh, on knickers bras all sorts of things you could even use it because it's slightly shiny it makes quite a nice edging anyway on any stretchy fabric so there you Jan go. says always wondered how to apply fold over elastic great demo and oh, I can good. put it around the armhole no gaping brilliant absolutely Thank yes you. armholes are great and that's a really that little pattern that's uh I did get it printed by Fabuloso, but it's only two pieces, so really if you printed it on your printer at home it wouldn't be too bad. It goes up to a size 20. So And would be pretty easy to braid out as well. It would be, yeah, if you larger. wanted any bigger, yeah. And you use negative ease, so um, so you make it up so that it's gonna come up smaller. So there you go, fold over elastic. A great addition to your neatening. There's me saying, oh, I can't bother to make vest tops. There you go. When you can buy them for three quid. Yeah, there won't be such a nice fabric as that. That's a really nice no. jersey, isn't it? Yeah. From Victoria. And she has that lovely modal jerseys as well. So there we go. We're going to make all our vest tops now. <laughs> uh, Catherine says, sorry if has been asked before, only just joined. Can you use it on non-stretch fabric? Absolutely. Yeah, just use it as a nice, a nice binding for edges. Jan says, oh no, not negative ease. <laughs> oh Jan, we'll get you into pretty things eventually. <laughs> but yes, you can, Catherine, you can use it on that. Uh, Ruth's saying make sure there's some stock for next week. Well you might get all the new colours next week, um uh Ruth. I need some of the purple. We can bring it. Yep, Janet, we can yep, definitely we'll bring stick it. it into us. So Jilly's we'll saying it. she's off to have some fish and chips see you tomorrow. Oh, mm -hmm. enjoy your fish. Oh, I fancy fish and chips now. Oh, you can walk up the road and get some. Oh, yeah, we could have some while we're finishing off tonight. Yeah. Where's a queue outside the fish and chip shop here in Midhurst? So there you go. Fold over elastic. We'll bring that to farm next week and we'll have all tomorrow, new colours. Tomorrow, sorry. We'll have all new colours here in the sewing room next week. So Ruth will get to see those. So, Amy's going to come in and say hello now. I am. Amy's got really fancy clothes on today. <laughs> <laughs> Can you move that way? This way? Yeah. A little bit more. Perfecto, thank you. Uh, Jan's saying, can you bring the white too? Yes, I will bring the white and the purple. And the seam tan cream. And yeah, I'm uh, 
very fancy today. Yeah, Amy's fancy. Amy's in set-up show I'm mode. I'm in set-up show mode. I do apologise. I <laughs> forgot to bring something to change into. So. And all our other clothes are at Farnham. And they're in Farnham. Yeah, so I don't have a... Well, I did make a new ruffle dress this week, but it was a bit boogalicious, and I thought, oh, I wasn't quite ready for that. <laughs> We're in so, my workman gear today. I think it looks great. It's very it's good comfy. Look. Yeah, these are the Merchant and Mills dungarees. I have worn them on a live before. You've yeah. seen them. She wears them a lot, actually. I wear them all the time. I'm going to have to make some more pairs because I think every time people come here, I'm wearing these. You're Janet saying your favourite outfit it is. It is my favourite outfit. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm going to have to make more because, yeah, it's bad, isn't it? Wearing them over and over again. I Did have washed them. Oh, you see, you say you look great. Thanks, Ruth. I think you look great. <laughs> Um, Sally, uh, Sally Counts came to Monday night evening, Tuesday, and she made she had two different patterns as well. Yeah. The different dungarees. Yeah. Looked really good. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the dungarees. Mm. They were perfect today yeah. when I was running around and unpacking. Yeah, with our lovely, we had, we had two lovely guys who, with the van who helped us. Yeah. So, well, you weren't doing all the heavy work yourself. I didn't do any heavy work. <laughs> Just no. sat there and watched them. We had in. two guys doing it all for us. Yeah, we realised three or four shows ago mm. why are we doing this ourselves why yeah. are we packing all of this stuff into the honda mm. and driving it ourselves and then unpacking it at the other end so it was laura wasn't it from so different yeah we were struggling with all our stuff we looked over and there was laura from so different patterns her stand was all piled up with her box and then she just walked in with a cup of coffee and yeah. unpacked it all that, that was, was my dream brilliant. from then i wanted yeah. to swan in with a coffee yeah that's it, and that's what we do. Yeah. And lots of people were looking at you today. Today, going, I was I sitting there waiting for the van having a coffee. <laughs> and, and, and all these independent shops turning up with, with their husbands or whatever, helping them. And they're all doing it themselves and hefting boxes up and down the stairs. And then my lorry turns up. <laughs> and this woman was like, I never thought of that. <laughs> best money ever spent it is yes two men in a van to carry yeah. our stuff in they're very useful sometimes you can't you have to be a fully independent woman but sometimes you need some help yeah you do definitely well last we take our massive big display stands mm. and they're really heavy and bulky yeah. and we would have to hire a van to do it ourselves mm. so not not much more no. to have two blokes with it exactly exactly <laughs> so you really deserve your cocktail yeah i've worked very and hard today have. yes and yes. yesterday packing mm. it all so yeah today we are having an english garden Aww. cocktail um, Lovely. yeah which is with things that i already had here luckily because <laughs> i didn't have time to go to the shop today i was in the traffic on my back going oh no i need to get lemons or limes but we had to so, the English Garden is a lovely glass. refreshing drink. It can be a tall, long drink with ice, or it can be a short little martini drink, depending if you want it to last longer. So it's uh, gin, my favourite. Well, um, we do have to say a quick thank you to Suzanne. This oh week. yes, thank you Suzanne. Thank you Suzanne. For a lovely bottle of gin. I actually nearly did a cocktail using that bottle. Uh, Suzanne gifted us a lovely bottle of Whitney, Whitley Neal uh, rhubarb and ginger gin. Which I did nearly do a cocktail with it, but I needed some extra ingredients, so I'll maybe do that next time. It's a very pretty bottle, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Mm. Perfect. Thank you, Suzanne. Thank you. Mm. Uh, so, gin, Saint Germain elderflower liqueur. Great use of that again. Getting through this now. Mm. Um, Getting through it. Yeah. We also need to use some. That's good. I had a bottle on the back of my bar that never made it to that one, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're doing well. Uh, apple juice and lime juice or lemon juice whichever you have. So now I've filled up my table, I don't have space. Um, it's a shaken one. Can we get our shaker out? We need some, I feel like, oh, the table is smaller, isn't it? It is smaller. I normally have another table here. Yeah, it's that's been right. taken up to the I feel like I don't have enough space over here. So we need some ice in the shaker. Gin is a double shot, 50 mils per person. Any gin will do. As Jason Donovan might probably say. <laughs> <laughs> Love a Jason Donovan reference. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> uh, so, 50 mils of gin. 25 mils of St. Germain per person this is. 
Cynthia would like this one. She likes a bit of Cynthia. Yeah. One for you, Cynthia. Plus, yeah, for anybody that went and bought a bottle for the Coco Chanel Martini, this is what, three or four cocktails yes. now that we've used this? Mm. Um, lemon or lime juice, um, 15 mils per person. So 30 for two of us. Oh, I think I just squeezed the perfect amount. Oh, very good. And then apple juice is 75 mils per person. But, I mean, ish. So I don't have to be too... Perfect. Uh oh, I might run out of space in here. Oh, this one you should shake it individually, don't you think? Maybe. No, we'll be fine. Just. <laughs> could go wrong. This could go all over me now. Just gently, I reckon. No, it's fine. Give it a shake. Talking to Cynthia, we should thank, thank, thank Cynthia for sending us a link to Aquafarber and Tartans. Yeah, Aquafarber yeah. and Tartans. Yeah, so now we're having to make loads of pillars when we do your frothy <laughs> cocktails with the discussion we were having. Yeah. <laughs> so again, when it's super chilled. Now, there is supposed to be a garnish of cucumber, but because I couldn't make it to the shop, I didn't get any cucumber. So if you're going to make a long drink, you would shave the cucumber lengthways to get a long ribbon and wrap it around the glass. Mm -hmm. And if it's a short drink like this, you can just make small, like, you know, like courgette. Oh, yeah. But cu courgette. cucumber. Cucumber. <laughs> Whatever the equivalent is. Thin strips. <laughs> oh, we're going to double strain because of the lemon juice. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a garnish, I'm afraid. Well, I'm I think sorry. we lit you off yeah. on a show weekend. Yeah. I did you called it an English garden. Yeah, English garden. Mm. It should go a bit foamy because of the apple juice. If it's a cloudy, cloudy apple juice is better, um, but it doesn't have to be. Use of the gadgets. Use of the gadgets. There we go. This will get us through our late night working yes. tonight. There we go. And then you would garnish with cucumber. cucumber. <laughs> oh, it looks lovely. English I garden. Like, I always like a drink in one of these glasses. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers everybody. everybody. Cheers. Well, how nice. Mm, very refreshing, isn't it? I love that, the mixture of the fruit juice and the mm. lemon juice. Lovely. Mm. Mm. It is delicious, Janet. It is. Yes, that Luckily, we need to be here for a few hours, so we could actually just finish the juice and have another one. And we're going to get fish and chips. And get fish and chips, yeah. We're going to have a like curry from the curry house. Or we could get a curry. Yeah. Just. <laughs> so, it's been lovely. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us today. So lovely to catch up with you. These, I mean, we always said the weeks went quickly, but now the fortnight is going. Yeah, they? they are just as fast. Yeah. So I couldn't believe it would come round again. Yeah, so when you join us next time, Amy, you'll have been on holiday and visited Linton, so maybe I will. Show. Yes, I will have stuff. <laughs> I can't go to Carlisle and not go to Linton. No. I'm actually going to Carlisle because we're, I'm going to the Lake District, but I need to go and check out the hotel for our couture retreat. Just confirm things. Just confirm a few details with them. So mm. while I'm up there, I bought two birds with one stone. Mm. And so I will go to Linton and see what they've got. Yes, and I'll give you the name of the other one that Carlton told us about today. Oh, yeah, apparently there's another fabric shop. Mm. Oh, hi, Nam. Hi, Mum. Cheers. On Facebook today. It's normally on Insta, isn't it? She varies. Varies, yes, her choice. She's very <laughs> high-tech, my mum. Yeah. Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, the whole shebang. This is a good one. I quite like You'd this like this one. one. Mm. Yeah, English garden. Mm. Imagine if it had the cucumber as well. It'd yeah, be really it'd be refreshing. really lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Another one that could be made into jugs with lots of mm. ice. And you could even top with soda or lemonade as well. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say enjoy your fish and chips. Thank I think you. that's a good plan. I think so too. So, yeah. Thank you very much for joining us today. And we will see lots of you tomorrow at well. Farnham. Uh, otherwise, we'll be back in two weeks, won't we? We will be back in two weeks. Yes. And we'll have had the find of the sewing bee and all sorts oh, of things. Oh, there'll be so much to talk about. There will, as usual. I will now go into my English bar garden and water some plants. Oh, still yes. so. See you tomorrow, Catherine, and I'm sure you'll see some fellow Midhurst sellers. I'm sure you will. We should have got some badges made, shouldn't we? Yeah, I'm a Midhurst seller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello.
Maybe I'll whip some up tonight. Yeah, give everyone a pin badge. Yeah. <laughs> I think you've got quite a long list. I've got quite a long list. Yeah, I've got quite a long list as well. Ah, cheers, Suzanne. See you tomorrow. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. Enjoy the sunshine yes, wherever you it's are. It's going to be a heat wave this weekend, isn't it? So oh if you're not goodness. coming to Farnham, if you want to come and stand by our fan on our stand. <laughs> <laughs> If we don't see you tomorrow, we'll see you in a couple of weeks' time. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been really lovely catching up with you all. Oh, Love Couture Sewing just says, good morning from Alaska. Oh, morning, afternoon. Yeah. Alaska, that's <laughs> Linda. Oh. Cheers, Linda. <laughs> Breakfast cocktail for you. <laughs> and Susan says, see you tomorrow. Janet's going to wear a badge. <laughs> <laughs> See you, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you very soon. Thanks for joining us.